do you want to make captions like this? So let's watch because today I'm going to showcase you how you can work effectively with captions in order to tr uh, translate or do the dubbing of large video files that are above five minutes. Because today captions program limits you to upload the files for up to five minutes in order to add captions or to do the dubbing of your videos. So as a first step, what you need to do is obviously you need to have a captions program. So you can navigate to captions.ai. Uh, over here, you can download for your operating system the captions program to your PC. One week, the captions program was allowing to upload the video files that are up to 10 minutes. Uh, however, when whenever you wanted to do the AI translation or adding the subtitles to your videos or perform the, the dubbing using the AI from one language to another, the file limit was up to five minutes uh, for the video upload. However, today, captions uh, program made some improvements. So right now, video upload is limited to up to two gigabytes file size. However, AI translation or AI dubbing is still limited to the files with up to five minutes. So not five minutes videos, but up to five minutes or less than five minutes. In order to add the captions into a very large video file, I have prepared small script that will split the one large video into multiple smaller uh, video parts that you can then process using the captions program and then match them together so that you will have uh, the the final video with subtitles the full length size. So as a first step, you need to navigate to the GitHub page uh, that I have prepared. Either you will use the git uh, CLI command to clone the repository, or you can just simply download the um, a zip file from the shown website. So uh, I suggest you that you first create the folder on your desktop and then navigate to this uh, folder and to this folder let's clone the github repository you will see that once you download this uh, github repository that uh, there are two scripts that are called batch video parts and then split video parts that will utilize throughout today's tutorial so as a first step we are going to do splitting of your large or full video into the smaller video chunks so that they can be uploaded and processed by captions program so in order to split your video uh, you need to place your full video into the same folder where the downloaded scripts are located then you will type command bash then split underscore video underscore two underscore parts dot sh script space and the name of your video then you press enter and the script will split the full video into multiple uh, video chunks uh, depending on the full size of the original video you might have one or two or more video chunks uh, provided as an output uh, when the script finish running so in this case in this example i have one full video split it into the two smaller video parts now we will take those two videos and upload into the captions program so you just need to upload both of them uh, into the captions program but you upon uploading each video you will be prompted to select the, the original language uh, of your spoken video and uh, so in this case it's slovak language and then you will need to choose the translated language so in my case it will be english then you can select ai translation or ai dubbing depending on your use case i would like to just add sub english subtitles to the original video so i 
choose an AI translate feature. Uh, you will do this process for every single video part. So in my case, I will upload two video parts. Uh, right now, I will need to wait till the captions program on their backend servers process the videos. Now, when the video processing is finished, let's click on the first video part and wait till the, the screen of the video loads and now we are ready to add the subtitles uh, you can choose from available subtitles styles uh, from the left side uh, menu from the presets and then you need to make sure that the subtitle subtitles are showing up within the the window screen size and not and not going beyond the screen otherwise we will not see the full subtitles on the video so it will be uh, cropped so after you position the subtitles and make sure that you have necessary uh, subtitles size uh, you can export the video back to your computer and you will do during the export, you can actually choose the quality of the exported video. So I'm going to use the highest quality possible. Once you do this, you need to repeat the step for every single video part. Upon the export of the video, you need to make sure that when you are exporting the video, that you are putting the suffix into the name that includes captions keyword. So I use captions and then the number, like let's say this is first video part, so I'll put zero, zero. And this is important step because then my script is actually parsing uh, or will be merging all video parts into one based on the caption keyword on the video, uh, in the video name. So as you can see, the first file it has been exported, we've, uh, we've added subtitles, now we need to repeat the same step for second video part. So this uh, process is very straightforward. So in the second video uh, file, I have used the captions um, suffix in the name of the video, then underscore zero one, because it's second part of the video that is being processed. And now at this moment, we are uh, ready to merge those two video parts, or in your case, it might be more than two video parts. Uh, for that, we are going to just uh, back to our folder with scripts and then just enter the command bash space merge video parts uh, bash script. Just hit enter and you will see that uh, you upon the script uh, running uh, execution actually finishes, you will get a new file that is called merge. Uh, uh, video file. Now what I'd like to do uh, to make sure that the processing went uh, uh, fine, I bring up to this on the screen the original file and then merge a video file. So uh, I suggest you that you compare the length of the video of each file to make sure that both are matching and that the original file you will see that doesn't have any subtitles and you will then make sure that the subtitles has been properly added uh, for the full video length on the newly processed or match uh, video file. Now uh, everything is ready, you can upload your video to the YouTube for example or depending on your use case and do the cleaning, cleaning up of the project so you navigate back to the captions program remove those two video parts that we were using and then clean up your local folder on the computer so delete all the uh, splitted or small video chunks 
uh, both without and with subtitles and just keep original file with, uh, without subtitles and then the merge file with the subtitles so that you can save up some space on the hard drive so to summarize as a first step you need to split your large video into multiple smaller video chunks then upload them into the captions program uh, in order to add the translation or dubbing feature then wait for captions to process your video so the video will need to upload and be processed by the captions program if you are adding subtitles then you can select the template preset that will basically adjust the colors and fonts of the subtitles to your liking and you just need to make sure uh, to position the subtitles to, to the bit of the video so to make sure that uh, the subtitles are not crossing out of the boundaries of the video uh, screen, size, screen size then you download export process video file and you combine all videos back to one full video and that's all um, I hope this uh, video editing workflow uh, is helpful for you. Please leave a like and subscribe on the video. Bye.